Hi friends, welcome to Java Coding Skill. Today we are going to talk about what is the difference between static web pages and dynamic web pages. This is frequently a huge terminology among the web world, but somehow uh, some some of the time we are confused about this. At which application or website we can say that is static, and which one is dynamic. And what are the skills required to develop a static website and same for dynamic? So let's understand uh, in this way. I'll show you an example. <clears throat> Let me open one uh, website. This is one of the, my website actually. So I can uh, tell uh, all about this. Yeah. If you open this, so far this behavior is, looks like a static, right? Irrespective of we are refreshing the page and clicking here and there, content is same. If the content is not going to change dynamically, every time it's getting the same content on the browser, on the screen, on the display, we can say that is a static website. Now let me show you this uh, dynamic nature of this website. Let me open this uh, <coughs> test actually, it's a random test. Here you can get some dynamic value. The value which is coming here, it's coming from the database. So every time you refresh the page, if you see first question is, is this true and false and some two option is there, right? Let me refresh this. You will get some different data. Because in database so many uh, questions are already available and it's pulling those uh, questions from the database. How can we know whether it's coming from database or what? we can't uh, uh, say from the ui but with behavior if we're refreshing the page it's every time you know reflecting uh, reloading and different question even uh, some of them you know uh, maybe argument okay, maybe this is uh, coming with javascript code itself but if you open the source code the all the code is not available only you refresh the page then this question are coming from the database Okay, let me prove that one more thing here. So let us take this test and we will uh, see one more thing in dynamic behavior. Click anywhere. Just randomly I'm clicking two, three questions. I don't know whether it's <laughs> correct or wrong. So let's submit that. I want to submit this test. So this, uh, see, result got calculated here, right? How UI can uh, know about this result? UI can't tell the result, right? Because it should be calculated at the server side. It's fetching those question details from the database and matching with the, the option which user selecting. It's exactly same as the value which is stored in the database. So they're comparing and they're populating this result. Basically, they're calculating the result of the exam. So we can say this is dynamic web page, right? Here, most of the thing is dynamic in nature. They have some business logic and all. And here, here you, one more good thing is you can save this test. If you click on save. Uh, I have already created one user here. Let me use that. You can also try from your end. You can open this pskill.org or you can Google it online Java test or any language test. You will get the very uh, first link of this website. So you can uh, test this. Your knowledge as well. It's a good platform to you. You will to yourself your knowledge with her <coughs> so see here we can see uh, these main tests i already saved just for tech, uh, practice purpose just randomly i uh, did that so these many records right 31 entries there right let me remove some of the record let me remove uh, two records so it should be 29 after removing right let me remove one by one Your selected record did it successfully. Now this should be 30, right? Earlier it was 31. See 30. Let me remove one more. Now it's reduced to 29. Yeah. So my intention is just no to prove that that is dynamic in nature. Its behavior is dynamic. Data coming from the database and going into database. We are able to add the data, uh, delete the data, edit the data. Something we are communicating with the DB. So we can say this is dynamic web page. So I hope you got the idea of the dynamic web page. Something the text is not always fixed. 
we can say that is dynamic. So uh, coming to that static, uh, I have one more website. Instead of ORG, if you type in, you will get this tutorial. Here nothing uh, great, just if you open any of the pages, you will get some left navigation here. Click on this, any of the navigation button. Just reading mode, if you next, next it will come. Always the content in same, irrespective of refresh the page, whatever you want. So uh, most of the data remains same. So we can say that it is static. Now the question is, what are the skill required to develop the static website? And what are the skill required to develop the dynamic website? If you watch our previous video, front-end and back-end and web developer technology skill, the same thing required here. In order to develop static uh, static web page, static sorry, <coughs> static web page, you have to have the knowledge of front-end technology like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery will be great. Ajax not required, we are not going to call any of the uh, API here. So Ajax not required here. And if you don't want to code by your own, you can use any CMS, CMS thing like, you know, WordPress. Earlier Joomla and Drupal was there. I don't know whether this, this is already available in market nowadays. I don't know. Earlier it was there, Drupal something. And so many, you know, website builder available in the market. Website builders. They they will provide a lot of a lot of readily available uh, samples and template. You can easily, you know, edit the content and uh, use it. So technical knowledge not required in that case. So static web page, even you don't have no uh, programming knowledge, you can develop. Coming to the dynamic. along with this front-end thing plus server-side programming server-side programming knowledge plus the database yes what are the uh, things required for a web developer we can say it's required for a dynamic web page development so I hope you got some idea about this static and dynamic web pages. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe the channels and press the bell icon to not miss any future notifications.